Rotten Waffle TV, sponsored by West Beer. Today we're here with Patrick Moynihan. Hello, Lucinda. How's Hi. it going? Hello, Waffle Brilliant. TV. It's How exciting. are you? Yeah, it's great. Thank you. It's lovely. Do you know what? This is my favourite part of the day where I'm sat down. This is <laughs> yeah. It doesn't matter what time of day it is, but it's beautiful. It's fantastic. How are you staying so fresh faced in this Edinburgh Festival? Um, bringing makeup with me everywhere yeah, I go. Yeah, <laughs> After, especially with the rain. And it's amazing. You keep it in the rain and you've still got a voice. What yeah, did you say? Just, to? just. Wonderful. So you're doing so many shows, yeah. different things in the festival. So we're going to talk a little bit about each of them. Um, you're doing. I think with Beck Hill, yeah. which is like uh, an hour of fun. It's like a game show sort of thing. Yeah, so we're, we're doing like, um, so we've got an hour of that. We, me and Beck were doing stuff at the In- Inverness Comedy Festival for the Happiness Festival yeah. with the Gilded. And it was the same thing there where um, we were doing our stand-up shows and we were quite similar. She's quite quirky and a bit daft and very friendly. And I, I like I do hugs and stuff and she draws pictures. So Karen Corrin from the Gilded said, you know what would be a great idea? We should put you two together. We've got a slot, why don't you just do an hour? and make it like a quiz show sort of thing or, or like a, an hour of fun so we'll put a quiz in there we're going to put all sorts of stuff it's still in development but i think it's going to be amazingly crazy yeah and it could be either good or it could be bad but i think it'll be it'll be fun so when is that on and where that is on the 14th of august and that is here in the gilded balloon in the dining room and it's for one day only and it's about five o'clock i think 4 15 yeah it? and you're also doing um something with bob slayer setting yeah. a world record or something me and bob slayer now bob is a lovely have you ever met bob slayer no i've not met him he's mental yeah. bob is fantastic to be honest, Bob just, like, he could be in that radiator now. He's that sort of bloke. He'll just sneak up behind you. you you'll be sat there and he could come out the cushion and he'll grab you. And that's what I like about Bob. He's unpredictable, he's dangerous, and he should be locked up. So and what I've decided to do is, me and Bob are going to do a 25-hour pull. Because Bob's a bit like me as well. He's a bit bonkers. He likes to crowd surf. He likes to get involved. He gets people to do crazy things. So we thought, look, why don't the two of us do something together? And we thought, we'll hug for 25 hours while going to different shows. We'll come to late and live. We'll crowd surf while being hooked across an audience, which I think could be dangerous because, I mean, when me and Bob, I mean, Bob's not a skinny fellow, either, you know. Like Bob likes cake like I do. And, I think it'd be quite hard to lift both of us, but we'll give it a go and see what happens. What have you got planned after the Fringe for the next sort of year or so? God, after the Fringe, I spend a year trying to get my voice back, uh, but at the same time, I tour. Uh-huh. So I literally, I mean, I try and get a couple of days off, but it's just been mental. Really. The, la- it, the last few years has been crazy. I've been just touring, and touring. And so as soon as I finish the Fringe, I literally uh, do the last late live on the Monday night, which goes into Tuesday morning yeah. until about four in the morning. And then I literally get on a train, go down south, I go and do a show in London on Tuesday night, I fly out to Denmark Wednesday, I do the Denmark Comedy Festival then on the Wednesday, Thursday, and then I do a little tour back around the north of England, and then I, I literally do a, a, an autumn tour, which then goes into my, I'll tour this Cape Charlie show all the spring, and then I write a new show uh, in the summer, and then I'm back here again in August. So it's pretty mad. It's very busy, very it busy, yeah. <laughs> and I've got some little bits and pieces coming up and um, like telly bits and it's, yeah. it's quite exciting so I've got to do some of that stuff so I'm just training for that stuff and then it's just like, oh. But then, yeah, so it's good really. Yeah, so what telly stuff are you doing? So the, well, a lot of the, the, some of the stuff I'm not allowed to say what it is yet okay, but yeah. it's bonkers. But I, I mean, you'll probably know when it comes out and you're like, oh my God. So I've got, all I can say is I'm going to train for it. Okay. So it's crazy. I'm very like, excited about this. <laughs> in the past, in the past I did like the last couple of years, it's similar to stuff like I, I did that Let's Dance where I actually Let's Dance for Sports Relief and I've done other stuff like that. So it's all these things. I love it. I love it. It's great, but it's just like, oh my God. And sometimes you think, you lay in bed at night and you think, oh, why have I agreed to this? I think it's great. Man. It's mental. Yeah. So we said when your one with Beck Hill is on. Beck Hill is on yeah. the 14th. Uh, Kate Charmer is every night, 8.45. And I'm doing this hugathon starting at the end of my show on Tuesday night, 8.45. It, uh, even if you can't get to your show, come at 9.45 outside, I always hug people at the end yeah. of my show, and then I'm taking everyone with me, if everyone wants to come, we're going to start, we're going to do our 25 hour hug, where we go around town, and it'll be fantastic. I'm also doing a dating show for a couple of nights, at 5 o'clock, um, called Yori Yori, with Louisa Omilan, over there, we're doing that, and if that goes well, I'm going to bring you back next year as a proper big, Brilliant. like, dating show extravaganza, <laughs> let's get people fixed up, yeah. that's what the fringe needs drunk people getting off with other drunk people <laughs> who can't speak 
and have got a lack of sleep. Yeah. These are ingredients vital to bring two people together. Right. Well, thank you so much for coming and speaking to us thank today. Thank you very much. Thank yeah. you for having us. Yeah. Yeah, yeah, let's hug on the go. Let's hug it on. I'm Michelle. You've been watching Waffle TV. <laughs> and I love hugging. <laughs>